She's been doing this for a while. Reverend Jerome McCoy, he's from here. He's a very good guy and he's speaking. And also Michael T. He's a black pastor from Philly. He'll be up there also. And uh, James Fox will be a Roger from Cleveland also. So it's at 4 o'clock. Uh, so spread the word. If you like the, if you like the flyer, I'll give you one. You can post it, share it, tag it. Get the word out so we can have the numbers up. You know, appreciate it. Thank you. The uh, race and riots uh, conversation and uh, one of the things that I did talk about was that this is one of the most important conferences that they can hold here in Dayton. In truth, this is one of the most important conferences that should be held throughout the country because while America might be building beautiful buildings and might be uh, talking about, you know, uh, building or rebuilding the infrastructure, bridges and things like that, if they don't concentrate on building human beings and, 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 and showing justice to human beings, then all of that will be for naught because when justice is denied human beings, it tips the balance of the mind and it causes a person to literally become insane. And as I pointed out, that America doesn't want to go to the point where we see the Palestinians who strap bombs to themselves because they have literally been driven insane with injustice. And they want, and, and so when just when you can't get justice from those who are supposed to mint, mint, mint out justice, then human beings will take justice into their own hands. And I wonder to some degree, is this by design? Because now we see uh, uh, police forces all over the country that are militarized. They, they, it's hard to distinguish a police officer today from a soldier in Iraq. And so for many black people, we feel that the police force is just another repressive apparatus of those who control this country under white supremacy. And so this is a, this is a big problem. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, they listen to what's going on, but you know, it's in God's hands for now. And as I was explaining to one young lady, America looks as though it may go in the direction that Rome went. Rome was an empire that thought that it was a God above God. But there's a saying in the, in the Bible that God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And so I, I, I um, you know, that's what I'm, you know, that, that's all I have to say.